Hello, everyone. My name is Marissa Galante Frank. I'm the fashion director for accessories and beauty here at Bloomingdale's. And I am so excited to join you for day two of Bloomingdale's spring make update. We have an exciting show for you tonight. We are joined by La Mer's field executive training managers, Vanessa Kell and Allie McNeil, to help you discover how one brand's take on moisture adds a boost of benefits to your skincare regimen. Welcome, Allie and Vanessa. Hi, welcome, Vanessa. Hello, Marissa. Hello, Bloomingdale's family. So excited to be here with you all today. I saw that we had a little bit of a welcome in the chat box, and we definitely want to share with you, put any chat questions into that box so that that way we can answer them as we go along. Marissa, it's so good to see you. It's so nice to see you both. Your backgrounds are beautiful. They are making me so excited to chat about all things La Mer. Um, so I just want everyone at home to know that at the end of today's session, you will leave knowing your moisture match, you'll know how to incorporate moisture into your skincare routine, plus you'll learn some bonus mixology tips for creating gorgeous looks. So that is really exciting. Um, I also wanted to mention that um, if you shop online or in store today with a $200 purchase from La Mer, you will get a three piece amazing sample set. So that will include the creme, eye concentrate and concentrate. So that is an exciting offer. Um, and as Ali mentioned, you know, please interact with us. We would love to hear from you. So we will be dropping links to each of the products that Vanessa and Ali are discussing for you to shop as we go. And if you have any questions about products, the tips or tricks, or any specific questions for Vanessa and Ali, please write them in the chat. Um, and the Bloomingdale's team and the La Mer team will certainly get back to you. So um, without further ado, Ali and Vanessa, take it away. Well, we also want to share by chance, if you have your favorite La Mer moisturizer or your favorite La Mer product, we want you to grab that, bring it into this experience because Vanessa and I are going to be talking to you about the magic of La Mer. Vanessa, it's so good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, Ali. It's always a pleasure to spend time with you. And not only just us two today, but our incredible friends and family here at Bloomingdale's. And Ali, I know we're in for an exciting time today. And, you know, we want to know where everyone's calling in from, ultimately. So I'm down here in South Florida, in Miami, where it's a, it's a beautiful, warm day, um, a little humid out there. But Ali, I know we're connected here in spirit, but I know you're the other side of the country. Why don't you go ahead and tell our friends and family where you're calling in from? I am. I'm literally on the other side of the country from Vanessa. I am actually in beautiful Bend, Oregon. It is stunning here. It's high desert. It's mountainous. Um, again, put in the chat box. We want to know where you're calling in from because we have many of our esteemed guests here today. Hello, Susan in Chicago. So excited to have you here with us today. It looks like we've got Orlando, Florida. We have Palm Coast, Florida, New York City. Hi, Jess. Glendale, California, Orlando, Florida, down here in Florida. Love to see that. Oh my goodness, we've got someone else from California. Cal see lots of people from California. Washington, D.C. in the house. And Paula from L.A. Welcome, everybody. Wow, we are tuning in from all over the country. So now we see where everyone's coming in from. Ali, why don't we get this started and Let's do it Paul and get to know a little bit more about our Bloomingdale's friends and family and really what it is and what are the benefits that they really look for in a moisturizer because today is all about the magic of moisturizer so what benefits do you look for in a moisturizer is it hydration anti-aging calming and soothing or balancing so go ahead and pop your answers into our poll Ali, I know you, you you're, when it's winter time over there in Bend, Oregon, you love to be out on the slopes. And when it's those summer months, you're out hiking the mountains. But when it comes to moisture and moisturizers, what is it that you really look for? One of the key benefits in your moisturizer? You know me very well, Vanessa. Yes, this is true. I do love my outdoor activities. But for me, I would probably answer hydration. And if I could choose to, it would be hydration as well as calming and soothing. I'm always looking to hydrate, also get those benefits of, of calming the skin, really kind of putting my, my skin in a state of peace, if you will, especially because 
the climate where I live is vastly different from winter to summer. We go from really chilly, really cold, really windy, snowy, all the way to beautiful, glorious, hot summer days. So what about for you, Ness, down there in Miami, what do you look for in a moisturizer? Mm -hmm. When it comes to a moisturizer, Ali, for me, it can be really like all of these things, you know, very lucky to live in a year round climate, the odd day where it's a little bit chilly, not often. Um, but honestly, Ali, you know, when I think about me and my lifestyle, you know, I love going to the beach. Um, my mom even says I should have been born a mermaid because I'm forever in the water. But when I take a look at this, you know, hydration is key, especially, you know, whatever the climate is, you know, key is hydration. But for me, you know, slowing down the signs of aging, you know, being out in the sun, I make sure I've got my SPF on to really help with that. But of course, you know, my moisturizer, I'm really looking for those more, you know, slowing down those signs of aging. But balancing really sometimes can really come into play, especially, you know, when I'm experiencing a little cooler weather, my skin can be a little bit all over the place when it's used to that warmer weather. So now we've discovered a little bit more about what we really enjoy in a moisturizer and those key benefits that we look for. Why don't we take a look and get the results from our Bloomingdale's friends and family? and see what we've got. Wow, look at this, Ali. Check this out. Hydration came in as the one that most of you want. Yes, hydration, 54%, Vanessa wow. said, hydration, yeah. Anti-aging, you're definitely after me right there. Anti 35% mm -hmm. of you are looking for anti-aging in a moisturizer. And then of course, calming and soothing. I, you know, I think ultimately, you know, no matter, what weather we're experiencing. We always want to kind of feel that calm and soothing moment, which is 4% and then balancing as well, equally as important. So all of these, you know, really are key benefits that we look for in a moisturizer. But let me tell you, here at La Mer, we really have an answer for all of you that want to achieve all these key benefits within our moisture. And Ali, you know, there's many ways that we can celebrate that moment. So without further ado, I know we've got something really exciting to celebrate today here at Bloomingdale's. We do. And the best part is it is that super juicy token of appreciation that Marissa was sharing at the beginning of the event. All of the contents in the offer today actually address all of those four answers in the poll. It addresses hydration, calming, soothing, um, anti-aging and balancing. So, you know, that being said, let's dive right into it. We've got a lot of magic to cover, which is kind of towards the middle of our time together. And really today, we really want you to know that this is all about moisture. And at La Mer, we want you to know that our take on moisturizer is, is quite different. We want you to understand that it's not only about boosting, you know, the benefits that you want to see in your skin, but also looking at moisture as like that step in your regimen that can beautifully complement the look that you might be wanting to achieve for the day. So you're going to know your moisture match after we're done. You are also going to be able to understand how to incorporate moisture into your skincare routine, whether it be day, night, maybe different occasions. And then also Vanessa and I are so excited because we're going to be bringing to life really some great tips, but specifically mixology tips. So how to incorporate different products at La Mer to influence that beautiful look of La Mer that you want to see. So Vanessa, I always love how you share our story and why we're so different at La Mer. Take us through the journey, my friend. Uh, Ali, I love to share our story here at La Mer. And let me tell you, you know, our incredible founder, it was about 15, 60 years ago, and this incredible aerospace physicist had such a love for the ocean. In fact, sometimes I think to myself, I should have been his wife. I love the ocean just as much as he did, but he loved it more for a reason of finding the regenerating powers that are in the ocean. Dr. Max Uber was an aerospace physicist who really suffered a laboratory accident. And during his accident, he wanted to find a way how he could really repair, renew, and transform his skin. And so he went out on his quest to the ocean and discovered what we call giant sea kelp. Giant sea kelp is, actually has these restorative powers um, and can grow up to half a meter a day. I mean, absolutely incredible when you think about regenerating. So he put this sea kelp through many experiments over many, many years. And he created what we call today here at La Mer, the miracle broth. Ali, this miracle broth is a proprietary ingredient. It is found in every single La Mer formula, threaded through each of them. 
whether it's a moisturizer or whether it's skin cover, it really is a proprietary ingredient that is this powerhouse of an ingredient. But let me tell you more about Miracle Broth itself and, and really what Miracle Broth does for the skin. It's gonna give the skin a precedented amount of energy for the skin to do what it naturally wants to do. And that's simply repair, renew and transform itself. So Ali, you know, it's such an incredible and, and I love how it's, you know, laced in everything that we have here at the Mare. And um, but really, you know, it, it really does transform the skin and it really takes us on a journey for our skincare regimen. Well, and I love even thinking about what makes us different. Vanessa, you said it so beautifully. Let's talk about the original creme de la mer because it's the moisturizer that really kind of set the stage for us. Mm -hmm. And this is the moisturizer really that the journey, the story of Dr. Max Huber, this is where it all began. So again, if you're just joining us, we want to incorporate our moisturizer into the regimen. Grab your favorite Lemaire moisturizer. I want to share with you what is so extraordinarily special about the original Creme de la Mer. First and foremost, and please do join us, join along with us if you would like, but I want to share with you all the ritual of this beautiful creme. You know, the original creme de la mer, it has the richest texture. And you're noticing right now, I actually placed it in the spatula. I'm smoothing it between my fingertips. And you might be wondering why. The original creme is out of all of our forms of moisturizer at La Mer. This is the single one that you want to warm up before you apply it. Now, Vanessa, you know this is my favorite part, is the application, because it's such a ritual. And we actually call it the ritual at La Mer. So after you've smoothed it between your fingertips, and you can see right there, got a little bit right there, kind of warm that in, you're going to notice how translucent or see-through it is on both Vanessa and I's fingertips. Now again, this is my favorite part. You're going to take it and you're going to press it right into the skin. I'm going right over my skin color that I put on for you all today. I'm literally just hugging my skin. It's like a moisture hug for the, for the skin. Now, the Miracle Broth in the original creme is in a liquid crystal technology. And really the liquid crystal technology, the Miracle Broth within it is really the base of this beautiful original moisturizer at La Mer. So warming it between the fingertips before applying it to the skin really energizes the Miracle Broth and it makes it so, it, it goes right in. It feels so comforting. Any skin type is, is going to, to love this. Let us tell you, it doesn't matter. We don't really speak into skin type at La Mer, which we'll get into in a moment, but just know the original creme is famous for good reason because it's so comforting on the skin. Now, you're gonna notice that the finish of the original creme is quite natural. You can kind of see that on, on my skin. And we mentioned earlier that there's several different textures and moisturizers at La Mer. They're all a little bit different. And Vanessa, before we show the other moisturizers, I say let's give our guests a little bit more interaction. What do we have coming up next? Oh my goodness, I do have to just um, call out Corey, who was right on it about warming up the incredible creme um, in the chat there. Uh, Corey, exactly that, just warming it up, like Ali said. But also when you warm it up, you get that beautiful um, light scent of like the ocean that comes from the creme itself. But just like you said, Ali, whether you're looking for a particular like preferred texture or a preferred finish. It really is, you know, what you prefer on your moisturizer. So Ali, we've discovered what we're looking for within the benefits. So now let's have a little fun and speak about our glow chat. You know me, I love a bit of glow. So the glow chat is going to be our next poll that we're going to launch. And we want to hear from you, Bloomingdale's. We want to hear what is the number one on the glow meter? What is your number on the glow meter? Excuse me. Is it number one, the most matte that you're looking for? Is it number two, matte? Are you looking for three more of a kind of natural finish from your moisturizer? Or are you looking for a a little bit of a glow or a sun kiss glow, as I want to say. So go ahead and pop your answers into the poll. And Ali, I know I shared earlier what I was looking for my benefits. So I'm going to turn it over to you so we can see what you're looking for when it comes to the glow meter and what you like to see in the look of your moisturizer. 
Okay, first and foremost, it's really hard for me to make a decision. Those of you who know me best, I love it all. I really, I really truly do. Um, for me, living here in the Northwest, I range from wanting, you know, maybe one day I might want something that's a little bit more matte and the next day I might want something that's a little bit more natural with like a touch of glow. Um, but I have to share, Vanessa, is that there's things that influence my decision on that on that finish. And it's, you know, am I going skiing or snowboarding that day? Um, or am I going to be spending the day working inside? Um, or even am I going to be spending a lot of time wearing a mask that day? What, it, what are my activities? Um, so those are all different reasons, but I think mostly during the daytime, I lean to want more of a match, uh, a natural, yeah, a natural or a matte finish. So I would probably say like A and B for me. What about for you in Miami over there? Ali, you know what, when I look at this, I could really be a bit of everything. You know, I obviously love a sunkissed glow, as I mentioned, and that's probably my biggest go-to. Um, but some days, you know, I'm looking for more of a, a natural finish from my moisturizer. I just want something a little bit more of this kind of um, satin natural finish. But then when I, I think about it, you know, maybe more so in those four months, that I want to see more of a, a matte finish. So it's really, again, depending on what's going on in my life, maybe on an occasion as well, if I'm going somewhere and, you know, wanting a little bit more of a, a different um, finish to my moisture, then it could really be all of these. So it really speaks to kind of how we like to say moisture wardrobe in, um, here. But now we've discovered a little bit more about what we enjoy and our preferred uh, finishes from our moisture. Let's take a look and see the results from what our friends and family at Bloomingdale's are all. Oh, look at that. Ooh. We're seeing some glow out there. Loving that sun kiss glow. I'm also seeing in the chat that Uriana likes the glow too. In fact, Corey said that uh, Corey likes Ali's glow level. Oh my goodness. I am so with you, Corey. And what else have we got here? Natural. Wow, look at that. 58% say natural Ali. Super interesting to see. Oh my goodness. And you know what, if you didn't, if you weren't able to vote, you can absolutely put it in the chat what your glow meter would like to be. But you know, one of the reasons why we love talking about this and really allowing us, the wearers of the moisturizer to be able to choose what finish is that it's, it's very much up to what your activities are going to maybe be that day or what your upcoming sleep routine might look like. And ultimately what that means is La Mer is a lifestyle brand. We are a brand that truly fits into your lifestyle. And whether, whether you're like me and you spend a lot of time in the mountains or you're a lot like Vanessa spending a lot of time at the beach, it's really not necessarily choosing just one finish. You could have multiple different preferences on choosing. Think about it like um, think about it like a wardrobe. Okay, we all have a we have closets, we have clothes, or we have dressers, and you might have that staple pair of jeans, right? So stay with me for a moment. You might have that staple pair of jeans, and you might accessorize differently depending on what the occasion is. Right. So if you have an evening occasion, you might decide to take your favorite pair of jeans and partner it with a different top based on how you want to look and feel or vice versa. If you want to feel more casual, you might take your favorite jeans and, and put on your most comfortable sweater, your cozy sweater, because you want that comfort. So thinking about moisturizer as an option for wardrobing, and we call that moisture wardrobing at La Mer, right? So we've just taken you through the original creme. Let's get down to the additional forms of moisture because again, we want you to be able to understand and figure out which moisturizer you think would fit best in your moisture wardrobe. So Vanessa, I say we make this real simple. Let's just take it all the way from, from very matte all the way to glowing. So what I'll do is I'm gonna start with our moisturizing matte lotion holding it up right here. So the moisturizing matte lotion, and I'll put a little bit right here on the back of my hand, the moisturizing matte lotion, that's right, I said it three times now, it is incredible. If you answered, you know, A on that glow meter chart, if you're like me and you want something that's great for warmer or even cooler weather, you want something that's lightweight, almost feather-like weight on the skin, um, fresh, 
it leaves a matte finish, a very comforted matte finish all day long or even all night long if you think that this would be a great moisturizer for you at nighttime. For me, Vanessa, the moisture matte lotion is my favorite to wear when I am snowboarding because the chilly environment, that, that dampness that's in the air, I don't want any of that feeling on my skin. So I love the lightweight sensation of the moisture matte lotion. So you can kind of see it's absorbed, but there's no yeah. shine. It looks great, Ellie, on the back of your hand. You can really see, you know, that kind of matte kind of look that we were speaking to. Um, and I, I feel like, if you are you wearing a little bit of the matte moisture today? I, I do. Yes, of course I do. I, I love using the moisture mat, which don't give away my secrets yet, my friend, because we're going to get there. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to touch on that in just a moment. Now, the next moisturizer in our lineup, after we talk about, you know, the most matte, we have another one that is called the moisturizing cool gel cream. And that is right. It is not just cool in feeling, but it's also a really cool moisturizer, if you know what I mean. So I love this one because you can somewhat see right there. I understand it's a little tricky to see with the lighting right here, but it truly is a gel texture. Now I've just taken a little bit on my spatula. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on the other hand here. Now the moisturizing cool gel creme, Vanessa, you know me. I I love to be in the sun just like you. We definitely share that in common. I love this one for hot, more humid environments. It's like this, this burst of cooling sensation on the skin. Um, the finish is beautiful. It really leaves the skin uh, perfected. Really, that's the word that I want to use. It's perfected. It feels really fresh, really healthy. Um, and you know, at La Mer, we don't speak to skin types, but if you're looking at these two, if you feel like you tend to want something that's going to balance more combination skin or balance, if you feel like you have a little bit more shine and oil, these two are great options. Again, this is a moisture mat, and then this is the cool gel creme. So here we have these two options. And then don't forget, I have the original creme, which I used on my face already when Vanessa and I were warming it up. The original creme, again, warming it between the fingertips, applying it to wherever you want. The original creme, Vanessa, is my go-to for nighttime. I love that deep comfort, that rich texture. Um, and again, you know, it's, it's completely up to what's going on in my routine. How about for you, my dear, what are your moisturizers of, uh, that you have, have over there? Well, you know, I love, you know, um, radiance and a little bit of a glow, but I will, you know, speaking of the cool gel that you just spoke of, Ali, I love to use that maybe when I've been on the beach for the day and I just love that cooling feeling that you get from the cool gel. And I tend to use that more on a weekend, you know, if I've had a day on the beach, been in the ocean, always using my SPF, of course, but, you know, just, just to feel that coolness. But for me, when I'm looking for, like, a, a specific kind of, or, you know, preferred um, look, then these are my two go-tos. So the next one we're going to discover is, of course, the Moisturizing Soft Cream. And right there in the name, when I say soft, this is like satin on the skin. So it is still a cream, but it's a, it's a weightless cream. It's not as rich as our iconic creme de la mer. I'm going to take a little bit and pop it up to the back of my hand. I've just taken a small, um, I don't know, about half a dime size amount here. I'm going to pop it up to the back of my hand so you can all see that right there. And I am just going to press this onto the skin so you can see the actual finish of this. So when we speak to a more natural satin finish, that's the kind of finish that you're going to get from the moisturizing soft cream. I tell you, the texture of this just feels like this flood of hydration on the skin to feel and to touch. Um, but when you look at the finish there, it is that more natural and satin-like finish on the skin. I just love how this feels, Ali, because it is a little, it's still that kind of creme, mm -hmm. but it actually has a little bit more of a lightweight texture to it as well so there you can see on this back of my hand that you've got that beautiful kind of natural satin finish mm -hmm. you're looking for the ultimate isn't it beautiful ali it's so pretty if you're looking for the ultimate of glow sun kissed luminosity let me tell you <laughs> the glowing one of all of them 
is the Moisturizing Soft Lotion. This one is the Ultra Lightweight Lotion. What I love about this is my morning regimen. I don't always, you know, get much time and um, to spend on my skincare as I like to. And I want something that's gonna give me the most luminosity, that's really gonna give a luminous but yet satin finish. So for me, this is my go-to on my morning regimen. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put a little bit, and I love it because it's, it's so easy to use with the pump action um, lotion. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press this because at the we love to press into the skin and allowing that to absorb deep down into the layers of the skin and check out the luminosity that's happening here you can see that glow i mean it's buzzing off the glow meter right away um, and this one like i say it's a beautiful beautiful lightweight uh, lotion so when you think about texture it really is it's like a breath of fresh air on the skin I love that. A breath of fresh air. I love that, Vanessa. I'm feeling your Miami vibes right now with this glowing and radiant moisturizer texture just showing us. Why don't we go ahead and hold up um, the back of our hands and kind of do a virtual kind of glow meter right here so our wonderful friends and family here at Blooming Girls can see the difference in those finishes. So you can see right here with Ali. You know, Ali, that first one was your, your most kind of matte, right? Um, the most matte, the most matte right here, which is the most, it's, it's the most matte lotion, excuse me. It's the moisturizing matte lotion. And then we showed the cool gel creme. And then I showed on my skin when we did the application, the original creme, beautiful natural finish here. And then right here, you can see I use that moisturizing and um, soft cream. So again, that nice natural satin finish. And then for that beautiful glowing moment, you've got the moisturizing soft lotion. So ultra lightweight, but got the most luminosity out there as well. Vanessa, I have to say, we just had, and Pete, you just put a comment in the chat, which so agree with you, just in terms of that is perfect after the gym. You know, the applicators that have the pump, so the moisture matte lotion that I had shared, and then also the soft lotion that Vanessa shared are amazing for on the go, because you literally do, you just pump it right out and you've got the uh, easy way to measure it, so on and so forth. So thank you for sharing that tip in the chat. Oh my goodness. And really that's, that's really our moisturizers in a nutshell. And thinking about moisture again, as your final step in your skincare application, um, it's, it's that last step right before your skin color, right, Vanessa? It is. Yeah, honestly, Ali, when it comes to your skincare regimen, that's it. It's the, it's the most important step that comes at the very end of the skincare regimen. So now we've discovered, you know, uh, the benefits that we're looking for. We've discovered the finishes. And I do have to say, Pete kind of mentioned this in there. He spoke about moisture wardrobe in and about how you can use two different moisturizers together. And absolutely. We're all about that at the mayor. It's about how you want to create maybe that different finish through moisture wardrobe by maybe using two or all moisturizers as what at once. There's really no right or wrong way. You know, some days I feel like I need a little bit more of a, a matte center to my face. So I might turn myself over to the moisturizing matte lotion, but then I love a little bit of a, a halo of a glow around the perimeter of my face. So that's when I might go to the opposite end of the spectrum and pick up my moisturizing soft lotion to give me that most luminosity. So it's really, there's something for everybody here at the Mayor when we speak about moisture, but we've discovered, you know, our moisturizers, where we're going with moisture. Let's discover a little bit about, more about moisture wardrobe in and how we can get, kind of, I want to say creative, here with our moisturizers and aloe vera formulas. Let's do it. Let's do it, Vanessa. I think that we have, I think that we have another poll to bring up, right? We do indeed, Ali. We want to know from our viewers today, which best describes your finish makeup or skin color look? I want you to think about it like your foundation. So which, is, which best describes your finish foundation or skin color look? Is it glowing? Is it radiant? Matte slash diffused or sculpted? And I want you to think about this because a moisturizer, when you think about the finish that you're looking for, can differ from the look you're trying to achieve when it comes to a foundation or a skin color look. 
questions. So we want to hear from you. Ali, which one would you kind of find yourself falling into here? It's a tough one, I know. I I'm smiling really big because of course you know me I I love glowing and I also love all the way to the other other end I like very much a matte look but again I am always after contour and I love a sculpted look and I also love a really beautiful diffused application and you know this is one of my most favorite conversations that we always have at La Mer because Again, if you're looking at the poll and thinking, gosh, I'm not sure. I kind of want to click one or two. That's okay. You know, Vanessa, I think we've got some, some tricks up our sleeve to kind of answer, even if you're thinking, how about all of the above, right? Absolutely. All of the above. It could be, it could be a couple of them. It could be all of them. It could be really any of these that we're going to achieve. Um, you know, I'm probably going to stick at the top two right now. I will say glowing and radiant, but let's let's pull it up and let's see what we've got from our viewers here at Bloomingdale's. Oh, wow, yay! Glowing's winning. I tell you, it must be these spring summer months that we're all in right now because glowing's right up there. 35% of you are looking for that glowing finish when it comes to your foundation and skin color. Uh, radiance up there too at 32%. This is really interesting, Ali, how like these first three are really kind of you know, on a par with one another and then sculpted as well. Sculpted, you know, I, I really, I find sculpted so interesting because there's many ways of creating that sculpted look. And um, so we'll definitely dive in a little deeper, but this is incredible seeing all the different, you know, ways of what you're looking to achieve with your skin color and foundation. So why don't we get into it, Ali? I say so. So for the 5% of you that said sculpted, this one's for you, okay? <laughs> Come in close, come in close. Now I'll tell you, sculpted at La Mer means essentially creating a definition, right? And, uh, and, and creating volume within the skin. And there's actually a way to do that before you even put your skin color or your foundation products on. And trust me, it's one of my favorite looks and it's the sculpted look. You're gonna need only two products. I have them right here. Yes, that's right, only two. You're going to grab the moisture matte lotion and you're going to grab the moisture soft lotion. Now, here's what we're going to do. You're, you can, if you'd like to, you could always use a brush to apply your moisturizers. I'm going to show you just with my, my tool that I always have with me, which is my hands. And I am going to show you essentially how to create that volume look on, um, let's do this side of my face. So essentially to grab the light, and to create volume and lift and that that uh, plumped skin skin cheek that I really always uh, feast after. I'll tell you, taking one pump of the moisture matte lotion, and I am going to put one pump of the moisture soft lotion, just again right on the back of my hand. Nothing fancy here. And from there, I'm going to use the soft lotion right here on the high point of my cheek. And the reason why is, Vanessa, you shared with us, it has that beautiful glowing finish. So watch this. So I have moisture, soft lotion. You can kind of see there. You can already see the glow on the back of my hair. I can see that right there. It's looking glowing girl. All right, here we go. Let me tuck my hair. Now, again, just pressing right on my cheek. And again, you know, just gentle kind of tapping, going back to our creator, Dr. Max Huber, he always recommended pressing because it really calms the skin. That's why he always pressed the original creme in. So here you can actually see that shine. Look at how just one moisturizer kicked up the volume right here on my cheeks. And I did place it right above my brow, again, creating that lift, but I'm not done. Now grab the Moisture Matte Lotion. Now this is going right next to my jaw, again, kind of like on the halo of my skin. And what this is going to do is essentially create more of a diffused action down on my jawline. So creating less shine essentially on my jaw, that way I'm letting all of the shine, all of the glow right here. This is doing the talking, okay, right here. This is where you're getting that lift. You can really kind of see the difference, right, Vanessa? It looks 
really pretty on you, Ali. I really like that look, and you can totally see it through the lens of the camera right now. It looks absolutely stunning. It feels great too. It feels so, so good. Now, I also want to go over, you know, for those of you who had put in the chat box or in the, in the, um, oh gosh, what you call it, the poll. Um, for those of you who are interested in the diffused look, let me show you how to get what we call the reverse contour on this side of my skin. So again, tucking my hair. Now, guess what? Guess what products you're going to need, Vanessa? Well, I know you already know. So I'm going to tell everybody, all you need are the same moisturizers. We're calling it the reverse contour because you literally just reverse the product placement. So again, I'm going to instead put the matte lotion right up on my cheek. And what this does, Vanessa, you mentioned like a diffused, you know, filter that we're all somewhat honestly obsessed with these days, filtering, you know, smoothing, kind of creating that poreless effect on the skin. And this is exactly what the reverse contour or that diffused look does. So I have the moisturizing matte lotion and I'm going to take it. I'm putting the matte lotion right here in place on my cheek because again, this is going to omit any highlight or any glow, but still leave the skin beautiful, even, refreshed. And then right down here, I'm going to be putting the moisture soft lotion. So I'm actually pulling more of a glow, Vanessa, right down around my halo of my skin. So highlight here, matte here. Beautiful. Alex, so it's more like the glow is on the outer perimeter, but yet you're creating more of a matte finish right in the center and the high point of the face. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Goodness. You're ready to go and paint the town red, Ali. You look beautiful. Oh my goodness. Thank you for sharing. Well, sticking to mixology and creating those moments, of course. I mean, do I need to say it again? I love that glowing look. It's all about, you know, the glow, and that is one thing that I really enjoy. So I'm going to share with you one of my ultimate favorite mixology moments, and that is using the moisturizing soft lotion, of course, the one with the most luminosity. We're going to be using the iconic creme. So I've got iconic creme de la mer. And then I'm going to be using a small amount of our Too Faced Elixir, the Renewal Oil. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use about half a pump here on my hands of the moisturizing soft lotion. When it comes to our creme de la mer, I mean, like we say, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to use a very, I want to say, little dash of the spatula. And then I'm going to use about one to two drops of the renewal oil. And I'm just going to pop that. I'm going to turn my hands away just so it doesn't run away with you there. And I'm going to go ahead and just gently mix that in together. Just massage that in. And I love that my, the back of my hands get any benefits of this as well as my palette. So I'm going to go ahead and I like to put this in the high points of the face. So this is that kind of glow in. And you can see right away, it kind of brings that glow to life. And I tend to go above the brow just to give a kind of a lifted glow above the eyebrow. And then I'm going to put it down onto my cheek here just to kind of pick up those more high points in the face. So that's um, my glowing look with Mixology. And again, that was using the moisturizing soft lotion, the renewal oil, and of course the iconic creme de la mer. So I've got my glow on, on this side of my face, but I wanna create a little bit more of a radiant look on the other side of my face. And I also wanna bring in a little touch of skin color. One of my favorite go-tos for every day is the Radiant Skin Tint. And not only do I love it for the color, but it also protects my skin from the sun. It's got that SPF 30 in it. So I'm getting protection from the sun and I'm also getting a lovely um, light coverage of color on my skin. So I'm gonna use a tiny touch of this on the back of my hands, about that much. And then gonna grab my um, moisturizing cool gel because I want to feel that coolness on the skin so I'm going to pick up my moisturizing cool gel and again just a little touch on the spatula nothing too much I'm going to pop that on right there so you can see where I'm going with this and then I'm going to use a little bit of a hydrating illuminator because I want to add a little bit of luminosity so not even half a pump but I like a better touch there you go. And then to finish, I then want to add in a little bit of the soft lotion, again, because of the 
you all know by now. <laughs> you know my favorite moisturizer out there. So I've got these on the back of my hand now and I'm just gonna go ahead and gently massage them in. And I have gone a little deeper with my radiant skin tint. So I just want to add a little bit more of a, you know, a, a deeper tone to my skin here. So now I've got everything that you've got. I mean, look at that radiance right away. But one of my favorite tools that kind of feels like this feather weight feeling on the face is using the application with the um, incredible powder brush. So I'm actually going to use the powder brush to create this radiant look. So I'm just going to gently pick up my mixology moment of my radiant recipe. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to literally bring this to life by buffing it over the skin. So I can literally put this all over the face. And this will give me a little bit more of a radiant finish to my skin. So there you have it. I've got my radiance on this side of my face. And then on this side, I've got that glow that's popping away there. So radiant and glowing. Ali. It's so beautiful, Vanessa. It's so beautiful. And you know, to share with you all, I completely understand it can be a little tricky, you know, to see this through camera. But not only can I see the difference on you, Vanessa, seeing one side with that high velocity glow and then the other one that has just that beautiful, healthy, dare I say, beach glow. You look fabulous. And what an easy way to you know, what an easy way to simply adjust how you want your skin to look before you go to your skin color. Brilliant, by the way, adding in that sunscreen, our, our tint into that last look. I loved it. Want to have an SPF, Ali, herself on those rays of the sun just to keep our skin feeling as youthful and looking as youthful as possible. I know it. I know it. Vanessa, this has been so much fun. To our Bloomingdale's guest, this has been such an honor to have your time this afternoon. We definitely hope that you that you are leaving with a better understanding of maybe what moisturizer might be perfect for you based on texture and finish, because that is the only difference between the moisturizers at La Mer. Not only that, but it was so fun, really kind of bringing to life different ways to create different moments of mixology and also introduce you to what we call moisture wardrobing at La Mer. Vanessa, it's always so good to see you. Ali, thank you. And of course, thank you um, to our incredible friends and family here at Bloomingdale's and, and Melissa and the team. But I just want to finish by saying, you know, a smile of happiness is the best accessory to any La Mer look or makeup finish that you're looking for. So thank you for joining us all today. Thank you so much, Ali and Vanessa. That was so amazing. I mean, I, I love La Mer before this event and now I feel like my shopping list has grown and the usage for the products that I already own um, have just doubled. I, I feel like you've showed me how to use products that I was already using in different ways, which is so exciting. That's awesome. The sky is the limit. And again, you bring up a great point, Marissa. It's completely up to, you know, what's going on in your lifestyle and how is your lifestyle affecting your skin? So, you know, it's up to you to decide and, and play mixologist in your bathroom with your I love products. it. I love it. Um, everyone at home, I just want to remind you about the incredible gift that's happening right now. Um, contact your La Mer counters because um, we don't want you to miss out. You have you can get a three piece gift with a two hundred dollar purchase, um, and we will be sending a shoppable list of products from today's event later this evening after the event wraps. Um, Ali, Vanessa, everyone at home, thank you so much, um, and be sure to follow Bloomingdale's to stay up to date on all of the exciting events we have for the remainder of the week. Um, thank you so much. Tomorrow, our next event will be a conversation with Dr. Barbara Sturm. So feel free to tune into that as well. Thank you so much, LaMera team. And thank you, everyone.